Let's talk about how you can stay in your code editor and manage your Git repository. For this lesson, we'll learn how to use Git version control right inside of Sublime Text. And the goal for this lesson is to learn one way to work a bit more efficiently while you're coding. If you want to learn more about Git version control or brush up on it, you can go to majingo.com slash git for tutorials, articles, and courses all on Git version control. Okay, let's dive in. This lesson assumes that you already have Git installed and working and that you have a Git repository to work with. If you don't have one, you can go to github.com and fork and download a public repository. I also assume that you have Sublime Text 3 already installed and running, and you can just open up your favorite project and follow along. To connect Git and Sublime Text, we need to use a Sublime Text package. Now, there are a few packages that are available for connecting Git and Sublime Text, and in the past, I've used one called Sublime Text Git, and you can find that on GitHub, and a quick Google search for Sublime Text Git will bring up this project. But I've recently started using one called Git Savvy, and I really like it, and I want to use that one for this lesson. One thing to note about Git Savvy is that it requires Sublime Text 3, which is the latest version of Sublime Text as of this recording. So to install Git Savvy, we need to use the Sublime Text Package Manager. If you don't have the Package Manager, review my short tutorial on installing it at the link that's listed right here on the screen. So in Sublime Text, I open the Package Manager, and on my Mac, it is Shift-Command-P, and then to get the, con the command palette, and then I go to Package Control, which is the name of the Package Manager, and Install Package. I can also find this by typing Install, and then hit Enter. Now, Sublime Text is going to be loading out the repositories from the remote location, and once that's done, it may take a second, especially if you've just installed Package Control, uh, you'll be listed with another command palette here where you can then search for the package that you want to install. So we want to install Git Savvy, so we type that and it's found right here. And they have the description of full Git and GitHub integration with Sublime Text 3. Hit enter to install. Now the package is installing, and once it's installed, we'll get a, a file here as a message from Git Savvy. Basically a, a little bit of a readme for us to get started. And after we read it, we can close it out. All right, so with Git Savvy installed, let's go ahead and run through the basics of Git Savvy. So all of this is going to take place right here in Sublime Text. So first things first, I always like to know which branch I'm working on, and uh, that way I make sure I'm working in the proper branch. So using the command palette, again, Shift-Command-P on my Mac, I can type branch, and now you see I have this Git prefix, Git colon, and then some Git commands. So this is Git Savvy. So Git branch, hit enter, and now it creates this little interactive document here that I can work with. You can see that uh, the name of the document is branches and then the name of the project. We're on this project called Crafty Brews, which is a project that I've used for some other courses here at Majingo. So this uh, interactive document here gives me all the information I need, including some shortcuts for actions that I can take from this point. So think of this as almost like, you know, I'm on the command line here, but I can in interact with this sublime document. So it tells me that I'm on the branch master. It shows me where the root of the, the local root of the project is. And uh, here below, they have some actions. I can do things like check out, create new branch from head and all that. So let's go ahead and create a new branch. So I'm going to push B. And down at the bottom, I get the branch name. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's say, feature uh, new search mechanism. Spell that right. And hit enter. And now it created it and checked out this branch. So now you can see it changed. It says on branch right here. It says on branch feature new search mechanism. All right, so now I know what branch I'm on. 
Another thing I like to frequently do is to check the status of the repository so I know what is going on or what I've done. Now one thing you can do is you can press tab and tab between all the different views in Git Savvy. And here's the status one right here. Now I can also close this and use my command palette again and say status and there's Git status. Hit enter and I get this status document that way too. So it says I'm on uh, branch feature new search mechanism and here's an unstaged uh, file here, the index.html file in the template. Now to stage this, I just look at my, uh, my key here for my commands and you can see that for selected file, which means I'm actually on the file here, I can hit S and stage it. Now you can see that changed the document updated, and now this file is now on staged. I can actually go down to that line and hit U to then unstage the file. Okay, so with the file staged again, I'm ready to commit. So how do we do that? Well, if we scroll down, you can see I have more uh, options here. I have actions to commit, which is just a lowercase c. So I hit C and I get another document that I can interact with. This is my commit document. And here I can say, uh, add a new index file for the template folder root. And then to submit this commit, uh, they ask you to use super enter, um, which in the Mac is going to be command and enter a command return. And then just like that, it is then submitted, so our commit is there. We're still on the branch where we have our status tab still showing here. All right, let's close that, and now I wanna look at the, the log. So it's important I wanna know what happened in the project. So to do that, we use git log, which you're probably familiar with. So I'm gonna open up my command prompt here and say git log. And now here is a list of the log that I have here. So I can look at that, git log, and there we'll say show commit this time. So now we can see the full commit object here with the commit hash author. Uh, this is the same output that we can get on the command line as well. And we can see a diff here of what's changed. Looks like I deleted some comments here. And also I changed the copyright notice. I added some content to it. So that's how we get to do git log. So those are some of the basics. And again, we can tab uh, through the, uh, the different views. So if I go to uh, get status, and I can tab through to branches, rebase, tags, which is always handy, uh, a graph, so I can kind of see what has been going on with my repository, some of the branching and merging. And there's status again. Now, in each of these documents, there's typically a set of commands to, so you can do something. Um, you know, you can see I have a list here of my stashes. And we can also work with stashes. We can apply, pop, show, create, and discard our stashes. We can also take actions on all the files. So stuff that you can always do with Git, except that uh, it's really easy to do it right within your code editor here in Sublime Text. And typically, it's just a one character uh, key that you have to press. So there's no big keybo keyboard combos to remember and it always has the key here for you um, in case you forget. And I'm referring to that constantly um, because I do frequently forget. So another thing that you can do with Git Savvy is um, it has a little bit of integration with GitHub. So not too much, but um, we can open up a GitHub project um, by typing and uh, we can like open the repo here and that'll open this repo on uh, GitHub. We could also do uh, open the issues, which is handy if you're doing bug fixes, you can open the issues. I don't have any issues in this project, uh, not because it's perfect, just because I haven't created any issues. So, uh, so this is how you use Git Savvy, a really nice tool for interacting uh, with Git right inside of Sublime Text, um, you can very easily create commits 
Uh, you can create branches and uh, you can uh, do all sorts of, of nice things right inside of Git. It doesn't, keeps you from having to toggle back and forth between other applications and that certainly is very helpful. So I hope you give Git Savvy a try and make your development workflow a little bit smoother by keeping Git right inside of Sublime Text. To learn more about Git version control, go to majingo.com slash git for tutorials, articles, and courses on Git version control. That's majingo.com slash git. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Ireland, and I'll see you next time at majingo.com. Thank <laughs> you.